So guys, what's going on? Uh, guys, we've seen um, Inoue uh, knock out Jason Maloney, um, as expected. Uh, you know, Maloney, tough guy, came in, gave a shot, but you know, Inoue is just... He's too gifted and too good. I, listen, I've always been a fan of Inoue and I've always bigged him up and I've always said that this guy is special. Uh, he's one of my favorite fighters today. Uh, he's, he's so explosive. Um, he puts his punches together really well. Um, he's very accurate with his punches. He's one of the best fighters in the world. I think this kid is special. Special, only young as well. And he's, he's a brilliant, brilliant fighter. Brilliant, brilliant fighter. The way he put his punches together against Maloney, uh, hit Maloney with an uppercut that put him down. Then in the seventh round, he finished the fight with a beautiful right hand. Beautiful right hand, just right on the button and, and Maloney just was gone. Uh, but Anuwe is just a great fighter. What can I say? He's just so special. You can just tell when you see a great fighter. The way he puts his punches together, the way he moves his speed, his movement. Everything about Anoue is special. You know, I know a lot of you people started saying he's a oh, hype job and this, that when he fought Denaire. He fought, uh, Denaire's a, what, three, four weight world champion, an unbelievable fighter. And, you know, he beat him. He had a tough fight with him and, and beat him. You know, Anoue is special. There's no doubt in my mind, Anoue is special. And the way, you know what, he's so explosive, he just explodes like fast twitch muscles, he explodes into life with his punches and it's, he's an unbelievable talent, an unbelievable fighter and, and listen, I think the sky's the limit for the kid, I think the sky is the limit, I think he's going to go all the way, I think he's, like I said, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world and I think um, Inoue is going to take some stopping in around that weight, weight, you know, in around those weight classes because uh, I just think the guy's got so much talent he's got so much so much talent um he's so explosive so fast uh so quick uh so sharp um uh, he's he's an unbelievable talent an unbelievable fighter um and i expected him to beat maloney uh if i'm honest with you i expected him to stop him and he did uh maloney's an unbelievable maloney's a good fighter you know he came like i said he's, he was very confident going into the fight but when you get in there with a new way he is the monster he is the monster and I think Maloney found that out when he fought him. He is the monster. And the fight ended it with the right hand. And Maloney was all over the place. Um, and the referee rightfully stopped the fight. Uh, listen, I want to see. I think everybody knows the fight that I want to see next. I want to see um, um, Anuwe fight Casemiro. I think that's the fight that we all want to see. Uh, I think the fight the whole boxing world wants to see. Because Casemiro is no joke. Casemiro is fast. Casemiro's got a big punch. Casemiro's got a good chin. That makes for a brilliant fight. Listen, my money's on, on Anoue. Um, just because I think Anoue, he's my favourite fighter today in, in boxing, I would say. He's an unbelievable fighter. Um, and I just think him and Casemiro make for a great match. And don't get me wrong, uh, Casemiro's impressed me of late. You know, his knockout of Duke Mia, Mika. Um, you know, Casemiro's really impressed me. And I think Casemiro's not one to sleep on because Casemiro... Uh, he's tough. He's he's got a great chin. He's fast, uh, and I think that makes for a great matchup. And I, I listen. I, that would be I, that would be a kind of fight where you have your food ready, you have your popcorn ready, and it's just it's. You know what? The thing is with that fight, it can't be nothing but a great fight. It's gonna be an epic fight. You just know it. You just know Casemiro v um, Anuwe is gonna be a, a crazy fight. You know it's gonna be so exciting. Both of them explosive. You know, both of them fast, both of them put their punches together well, both of them have good chins. It's going to make for an unbelievable matchup. It's going to make for an unbelievable matchup. That fight has to happen. It has to happen next, uh, as far as I'm concerned, because I think that fight um, is a monster fight. It's a monster, monster fight. It's one of the best fights. And it was one of the fights that I was looking forward to. You know, um, before we got hit, this coronavirus, the pandemic hit, it was one of the fights that I was looking forward to. That that Lopez Lomachenko, obviously Lopez Lomachenko rescheduled and it happened. Unfortunately, with this one, this fight just got scrapped. Surely now Bob Arum's going to make that fight. I believe, isn't Casemiro with top rank? I'm not sure. I don't know if he is. But I know Anuwe signed with top rank. So Anuwe is with top rank. Surely Bob Arum would look to make that fight because that's the fight we all want to see. We want to see Casemiro v Anuwe. That is a monster, monster fight. Uh, so, oh, and it's a unification fight as well, so it, it, it'll tell us a lot about Anoue. Uh, also, it'll give Casemiro an opportunity to become a superstar. Listen, 
That's the fight we all want to see. Make it happen. Make it happen. It's an unbelievable matchup. Hopefully, we don't have to wait uh, for it. It's a fight that I want to see. It's a fight that probably you all want to see as well. Um, I definitely want to see it. I definitely want to see uh, Casemiro v um, Inoue. Um, I think it's explosive. What an explosive fight that would be. Both guys big punches. Both guys fast. Both guys good movement. Good chins. I think Anue is a little. I think Anue has is a bit more special than Casemiro. I know a lot of the Filipino fans would disagree with me, but I just think that. I just think that, that I just think Anue is something else. If I'm honest with you, he's something else. He's an unbelievable talent. Um, and I think even as a Filipino fan, I think you'll agree with me. This kid is something else. Um, Casemiro is a lot older. Uh, Anue is a, a sparkling talent. Sparkling talent. Um, and fair play to the kid. He's 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 done well. You know, moving up weight classes, bashing guys up, and knocking guys out. He's so explosive. He's knocking guys out in such brutal fashion as well. You know, it's 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 great fire, mate. Great fire. Um, I can't wait for. I can't wait. For, I can't wait for that fight. Hopefully, they make it next. You know, I heard um, Anue saying that Casemiro's got um, great one punch knockout power. But he sees a lot of weaknesses in Anuwe's, in, in Casemiro's game. Uh, what weaknesses he sees, he didn't mention. Obviously, I'm pretty sure they'd, be, they'd have a game plan for Casemiro. What are the weaknesses that um, Anuwe sees in Casemiro? Uh, is it the fact that he's defensively a bit, you know, he gets hit a lot? What, what, what's the weaknesses? Uh, because you know what? The thing is with Casemiro, one thing he's going to realise when he fights Anuwe is the explosiveness, it's a fast twitch. It's like... He's. It's all of a sudden he throws punches. It's so explosive. Like it's a bit like Davis. He's explosive, you know, fast twitch. But you, before you even see it, boom, he, he cracks you. He's so explosive, um, and I just think that is a dang, That's a, that's a great great weapon to have, and I think that would be a huge problem for Casemiro because Casemiro likes to fight. Casemiro likes to get into a scrap. And I just think uh, Anuwe's explosiveness could be a massive problem for um, Casemiro. But again, it's a fight that we all want to see. It's just an epic fight. And it's a, for me, I would say it's a 60-40 fight in favour of Anuwe. Um, I, I do think that Casemiro, I think before I would have said 75-25. But I think Casemiro's closed the gap a little bit. Although Anuwe's still looking impressive, I think Casemiro's closed the gap. And I think Casemiro's stock has risen. I don't think people were giving Casemiro much of a shot before, but I think since that Casemiro beat um, Zelani Tete, and then he's had some good defenses. I think I think Casemiro is now starting to feel that he can genuinely beat uh, Anuwe. He's he's got he's got a lot of confidence with himself. He'll still he'll still be the underdog, but I do think he's a live underdog, and I do think he there's not much in it now. I do think it, you know you could even make a case of it for being a 55-45 fight or a 60-40 fight. In, in favor of Anuwe because I think Casemiro has definitely closed the gap. Casemiro has shown that he's an, an, a top, top fighter. So, you know, I think that's going to be a very tough fight. And I think if Anuwe comes through that in flying colors, then we're looking at a future superstar. I think that's for me, is going to be the fight that's going to be the breakthrough fight. Although we had it with Denair, I think Denair was a little older. I think Casemiro is in his prime. And I think that fight would, would tell us a lot about Anuwe. If Anuwe destroys Casemiro, uh, which is not going to be easy to do. I think we know that we've got a real gem on our hands. Uh, we've got a real gem. But like I said, I don't think that fight's going to be easy because I do think I do rate John Raul Casemiro. Uh, you know, he's come out from the Manny Pacquiao school of boxing. So you know, the guy's the guy's good. We know that. You know, he's got a warrior. He's a warrior, but you know, warrior by nature, warrior at heart. And I just think it's going to make for an epic, epic fight. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. I hopefully they make that fight ASAP. They make it and uh, we get to see an, a huge fight. Now, who would you guys, I want you guys to leave in the comment section below, even if you're Filipino, who do you think, honestly, if you're going off their careers and going off their skills and talent and ability on both of those guys, who would you favour? I favour Anuwe, I'll be honest with you. Who do you guys favour, honestly? I want to know your opinions. Leave your thoughts. Do you think Casemiro is going to be able to beat Anuwe, do you think Anuwe is going to beat Casemiro? Do you think Anuwe is too good, too explosive, too fast, punches too hard? Or do you think Casemiro's got a strong enough chin? He punches hard himself. He's fast himself. What do you think happens in that fight? Because if I'm honest with you, uh, it's an unbelievable matchup. It should be made. It needs to be made. 
And I believe it will be made and I, because I believe both guys want it. I think the guys at the smaller weight classes, they don't really dock one another. I think they fight uh, and they give us great fights. I think, you know, the smaller guys, I think they're very underappreciated. You know, death, how many times do we see the smaller guys give us some epic, epic fights? Unbelievable, some of these smaller guys, but they don't ever get the recognition and the money that some of the bigger guys do. But I do think now that's, that gap should be closing and it is closing because, you know, I think some of the smaller fighters are the best fighters in the world, you know. So hopefully the fight gets made. Hopefully we get to see it. Who do you guys pick? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.